Hi, this is Chris Andrews. A few people have asked me to take a look at how you can add 3D content into ArcGIS Earth. There are three different kinds of 3D content, and we're going to start with content in ArcGIS Online. I have a list of different services that are available in ArcGIS Online, including content curated by us and content published by partners. For example, I've just dragged the URL in for the city of Brest and you can see some of the, the high detail building content we have, as well as the lower level of detail buildings for the city. You can drag and drop in the URL both from a web page or from the, the address bar of your browser. In this case, we're taking a quick look at Auckland. You can also add scene services, in this case, into ArcGIS Earth by entering the URL into the Enter URL form in the Add Data dialog. Here you can see the high-res building models from uh, San Francisco that are, that are uh, published by Pictometry. We can also add KML content, including geo-referenced Collada files. Here are some files that were uh, given to me by Esri Singapore. That one is a downtown uh, view of part of Singapore, and I just like it against the OpenStreetMap data. You can see we can drag and drop in multiple files, or we can just double click on files to bring them into Earth. Here you can see both of the files I drag and dropped in have been brought into Earth. The last type of 3D data that you can bring in at the moment is uh, is content published from your own on-premises portal server. In this case, we have data for Portland that is used for one of our uh, demos up in ArcGIS Online. And Brian Sims was nice enough to give me uh, the, the direct links to some of the data sets on his portal. So you can see I'm about to toggle on and off uh, some buildings that are planned for demolition. And then you can see I can turn on trees and high resolution buildings uh, for one proposed plan. And then we have more trees and additional buildings uh, that look like they came out of City Engine, or uh, at least using a procedural RPK, and, that, and then were published to uh, Brian's portal. And so that's a quick look at how to bring different types of 3D content into ArcGIS Earth Beta. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you, and we'll be adding more capability uh, as soon as we can. Thank you.